you know, I get a feeling that today is going to be one of those days. I'm starting with my phone going very early twice. Um, yeah, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, and a couple of other bits and bobs. So what, again, should be a, should have been a quite calm day. It's ended up quite manic. Right, I'm going to open up my shed and explain what's happening or what one of the phone calls was about. Uh, then I'm going to get some washing in the washing machine, get my weekly washing done. That's gone open up first. So if uh, you watched my video, or my last video, we've been waiting almost three weeks to get our mowers fixed. So I've got the Stega, uh, the yellow one um, won't start, there's a problem with it. And then this orange one, uh, the Higgs Vega, whatever it's called, the belt has snapped. And we managed to get the belt um, fixed yesterday, we did it ourselves basically. Anyway, it's got a long, 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 long story short. The original people that were going to come and fix it have actually now got in touch um, to take the mowers away and do what needs to be done on them. <coughs> so I was, today, um, one of my big jobs today, I uh, was going to give all the grass a mow da -da -da -da, on here. Um, because it's, well, as you've just seen out there, so it's quite, an, it's a nice uh, day, wind blowing nicely, drying off. Anyway, um, the orange one, even though we've got, we've got it working, the belt back working, it, it needs a service, um, like an, an annual service. So I will have to uh, let it go. And obviously, all being well, we can get this uh, yellow one going again. Um, so this yellow one is my favorite mo. It's, uh, it's dead agile and um, it mulches up the grass. So when you do a grass cut, it really mulches it up. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous mower. So that's how that started off. And I had uh, a little message sent to me yesterday, Karen, uh, which I'll explain to you in a minute uh, what that was about. And I also, um, I got uh, another coffee bought to me, uh, which I'll give a thank you shortly. Um, but as I say, I've just a hunch that today's gonna be, well, it's really sunny. It's gonna be one of them days. So let's start my day off and get this washing into the washing machine. All right, so that's the loo rolls into their place. That's my washing on. Uh, let's go and give the toilets a quick go over. It's, really, it's like really seriously quiet here now, right? Really quiet. Um, I still will give the loo's a quick go over um, shortly. Um, I've got a, nobody off today or anything like that, but I have got a check in this afternoon. So let's go and see what's. Uh, What's happening in the office? Such a beautiful day. Right, just gonna have a quick uh, look in the cottage, how the work's going on. Oh, we've got the new plants outside as well. Look at these. Very pretty. Right. Slow and steady progress in there. Um, hoping to have a lot of the bits and bobs done by um, close of play tomorrow, Friday, uh, and then uh, tweak off and finish off bits next week. And going into next week, we've got a Monday plumber throat heating engineer here. We've got a problem with the water pressure, and I'm, I'm hoping it's not a serious problem, uh, which I su suspect that it could be. Uh, what else is going on? Got the chimney guy here as well next week, so he's giving the log burner a service and. Um, things like that uh, yeah <clears throat> god and this cold i've got this whatever it is i've got it's definitely it's definitely better um i've just had a real tickly cough for uh, a few days right i'm just uh pinging over messages i need to make a bit of space so i can get these mowers out as well and also allegedly i've got these mowers being picked up now um any time now so i'm going to very quickly put this camera down i'm going to just jump on this uh, orange mower and get some cutting done uh, before the because I've got no idea how long I'm going to be without the mowers off site. So as I say, it's three weeks uh, I've been waiting. So I've no idea how long this company is going to take to um, get them back to us. Yeah, there we are. So I said it was going to be one of them days. So we've actually got the people here now picking up the mowers. So we're going to winch that one on. And while she's doing that, I've been getting a bit of cutting done while I can. So it's going to be 10-15 minutes, so I'm just going to jump on the uh, 
on here and uh, continue. The grass is a bit wet. I wouldn't normally be cutting. Uh, um, I wouldn't normally be cutting when the grass is this wet because it's mulching up in the blades. But we'll crack on and uh, yeah, see how we get along. Uh, so Dan's piddling around with his bird bird feeding station and his bird house. Um, yeah, I'm not putting my bird house up just uh, just yet. Right, I've emptied the grass and obviously, as you can see here. Um, but with the grass being damp, the uh, it's been clogging up, so you have to sort of stop, take the grass cutter box off and uh, give it a poke and get all the grass out, which I've done. Right, the Steger, I've noticed in the distance, is on the um, trailer. So I'm going to um, take this one over and drive it up. And uh, I've got no idea how long we're going to be mowerless for. Hoping, well, it won't be for too long. Hello to Dan and Mazzy, bye bye. Uh, see how. Yeah, there he is, right. So, we have made a start. Um, I'm, not done the, I'm not done there yet. Here, we've done. These sections here uh, are all done. Up we go. Right, so here we go. We're, um, I'm going to be mowerless. And here's my man taking my mowers away. Here we are. <laughs> right, so all, all being well, it'll go up. Like it'll need to be winched somehow. But all being well, it'll go. Um, right, so, um, I'm done, let me just share another story to uh, what, what's been going on as well. So John, John, my boss, John, who owns this site and uh, Web Holy Parks, he's an absolute diamond geezer. And we've been talking log burners and stuff this morning. And he's been onto my own personal YouTube channel with me um, axing and splitting wood with an axe. And he now thinks I'm a, <laughs> I'm a mad axeman. And it, uh, some of the clips he's been watching, he's um, absolutely creased me up. It's so funny, honestly. I mean, beyond funny with um, some of his comments. Right, so um, everything's loaded up on the uh, on the trailer. I'm gonna lift the barrier up and um, wave goodbye to my mowers. Uh, and then I'm waiting now, next, after this, I've got some of you on to have a look at uh, seasonal pitches. Right. My cough has definitely got better. Right, here we go. Let's look out for the van. See you later, cheers buddy! So it's a case of when will I see you again? <laughs> I know, when will we share special moments? Right, I need to uh, see somebody else now as well. We've just been talking to uh, Dan's new neighbour who's... Uh, you're moving in mate! So Dan's going to start singing Neighbours to you and everything and uh, I believe you've all met each other. Dan says you've got uh, the most beautiful dog and if you want dog walking... Um, Dad. Yeah, he'll take your dog for a walk anytime, anytime you want. All right, Dan? Just throw it over the fence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something uh, I haven't told you. Go on. We had a delivery from a neighbour today. I had a delivery from a neighbour last night, funny enough. What did you get? Um, loads of cake. Cake? Cake, it was a welcome gift, so you won't have had one. I, I had cake. I know where it's come oh, from. Oh, you got cake? Because well, one, have you had one as oh, well? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, so I'm expecting about 17 more. <laughs> when you see what I got gifted yesterday off a of seasonal, when you see it, and I imagine you're, you will fall in love with it. Now then, this gentleman here has got, I'm going to put on his tap, what I've told you you need on your tap. I just need my tap sorting out because it's. Right. You know, yeah, part yeah. of the contract, I need running right. water no, no, without so, leaks. So, so I've got something in my pocket here for you, Dan. Oh, yeah. But I've just noticed, so so experienced seasonal pitch holders have got the, their, their, their kit. So right. can you remember yesterday what I said you needed? A motorhome and a... Twin tap adapter. Twin tap adapter. A twin tap adapter, and that'll stop your drip for now. And then you can have one going into your... Your, your fresh water, and you can have another one. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, I've got a bird in there as well. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I have got a bird in there, but that's what you need, one of them. 
Mr. Why do you need a twin tap? Sorry, I'm confused. Right, so yeah, basically. Yeah, explain because it, this is a season, this is a seasonal caravan person. Who's exactly, working, caravan people don't count. Well, well, when you put that on there. Yeah, okay. I know. I can shut them. Yeah, you can. You can I get regulate it. it as well. So then, when you turn your water on, that's already set. And that and the drip you've now currently got, it won't drip because yeah. it, it doesn't matter because you'll have turned it off then. Do you know how I know all this? this? And I've got this here drip? if you want to borrow it to put it on. <laughs> Is this just to fix the drip? <laughs> well, it's for an now. adapter as well for now, but other things as well. Uh, but, but... Can I just remind everybody? Oh. I used to sell these. <laughs> Well, everybody... Oh, here we go, the bean cues that Mala. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, I worked for Carrington's. We used to sell water connectors, water pipes. Um, look, carrington.co.uk. So why, why haven't you, why haven't you carry, every caravan carries these box of things like this? Because I ain't got a caravan. No, it's gone off this bird. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. get a washer. Well, seasonal pitch people. Yeah, it'd have been cheaper to get a washer. Hang on a minute. Let me just see what this, what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh water, water, eh? You're not putting down for the hedgehogs, have you? No. No, just have, have to have a look. There's no just... point putting anything down for no. the hedgehogs because there's a big thing all the way around. Hedgehogs mm, can't yeah, get yeah. in. Look over there, Dan, look at that, Charlie, Dan. You, you, you're, 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 attract, you're attracting the birds on your new bird box. Look at that, Mazzy. You can see that, look. Have you, have, you got, have you got that? I told you it were a good How's idea. How's it going? Have you done that? Oh, that's brilliant. It's, it's almost tame. You know why he's put that there? Neil just put that there. I didn't put, that, just there. put that there. You oh, know why he's put it there? Look at that. To scare any other birds from coming. That's beautiful, that Dan. I'm he impressed. thinks he's doing us a favour, and he isn't. I'm, I'm no, impressed. it won't attract him, Mazzy. That will scare them off. Oh, hang on a minute, mate, you might fly away. Hang on a minute, Dan. It's, it's on your bird table. It's on your bird feeder now. You're doing good today, you are. Crows. Absolutely amazing at this. Oh my God. It's flown away. It's, 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 you're doing well. You're doing, you're doing really well. Do you know what you need for here? Do you remember years ago, and you, you'll have a certain age where you used to have them glass necked things with a round bottom with a fluid in it, and you used to put them on the side and they used to duck in water like that? No. That's what you, that's what you need. Oh, you mean like a, a bamboo uh, water feature? You can put a water feature on. Why, why have you got mealworms in your water? Um, because apparently robins prefer them wet. Oh, I don't. Someone gave me that, you know, someone gave me that tip and I can guarantee they will go before all them. <laughs> we'll see. Well, Dan, your, 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 your bird's on your, your, your coconut, it's doing well, isn't it? <laughs> well, this bird's getting around today, isn't it? What's going on with I this know, bird? I know, you're doing really well with that bird, it's, mate. I've not seen it for a bit, though. Hey, no. take your camera off, Michael. Hey, what are you doing with that now, there? Hey, where's your bird gone? Where's your bird gone? Where is it? Oh, is it? It's, it's a mystery. I don't know. I'm just going to go and leap. <laughs> what, have got, what have you got in your head, Dad? <laughs> this, this bloody bird's getting about a bit today, isn't it? It's, it's all food I'm putting out for them, Neil. Oh, Attracting all birds. Fly, they're all flying over the distance. Look at them all in the sky. Yeah, I know. Unbelievable, this. What, what's going on here, Dad? <laughs> There's a bit of, um, what is happening? We don't have a problem with sex of animals on our pitch. What is it? I've never seen that before. You can't put that on YouTube. They'll take it off, Maz uh, Mazzy. Neil. Oh, that is... Oh. Sex. 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 Sandra's, um, Sandra's Thornapple, my video. Have you seen the latest comment on that? I must, must put a video clip in and show you a comment what came up. I think it was yesterday. Just wait, it's, it's unbelievable. What's going on here, Dan? What? Doing? What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah. As and when we have this conquer fight, Dan, the, the, you, you're in for a bit of a shock to what's going to happen. Why? You'll, you'll see, as and when the time comes. You'll, you'll, you'll see. Because I've actually been researching about the National Conquer Championship rules. Mm -hmm. Because you know that they're about to take place very soon in the, the UK. The Campsite Conquer Championship? No, the, the UK one. So oh, right, one, yeah. one of us might go through to the qualifiers. Yeah. Um, yeah, you'll see. But you do realise, so you do realise the referee of the campsite Conquer Championship 2022 is Mazzy. Could be, it could so, be, John, it could be John, my boss. I think it'll be Mazzy. So 
it's Mazzy's rules, not ours. It's entirely up to Mazzy. We can't get involved in that. No, that's okay. As long as she's read the, the, the actual rules in the, out the oh, book. Oh, she knows what she's doing. And, and she's no, a qualified no, no. conquer referee. Yeah, no, no, you'll, you'll see, Dan. You, you carry on doing your things. You'll see. I've got my, uh, my bird box. Dan, do you want to come over to my bird box? I'm going to come and have a look at my your bird, bird box. box yeah. My bird box is really good. better than mine. Yes, we'll see. Mine, mine's mine, mine's um, productive. Dan, Dan with his bird box, eh? So to attract birds, obviously, you know, you can put, try and put some camouflage stuff up, which I think, I'm assuming it's Mazzy that's um, had a fell tips out and everything, but what we need to do is put it so it's um, facing the right way and get them established. Oh, Dan, I've got to go because I've got to check in. So just um, ah, come, okay, come. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, right, nobody, should be, nobody should be here till after one o'clock. I'll be back in a minute. You're scouting my area, haven't you? I beg your pardon? You? Well, I, I had to do a check-in then. Yeah. And you've been nosing, haven't you? You've been having... You've found it, haven't you? I've found what? Your your nesting box. The successful nesting box. It's not any... any Not like your rubbish one. So, this is not your nesting box. Is that what you're telling me? No, this is my nesting box. Look at that there. I've just seen it, Neil. Look at that there. Yeah. That isn't the one you got given the other day. It that's is. It there. is. That's it's, been there all not. year. No, what you need to do, you need to weather them. So, so what you need to do, not felt oh, it. Oh, put bird muck on no, it and no, no, cobwebs no. inside. That's, that's nesting material because this is a successful bird box with tits. You are so, talking absolute junk. So I have made that camouflaged up and everything. Absolute it's, junk. It, it's, it will attract birds and everything. It's, 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 you know, the birds are starting to look into it. Look. You're talking junk. Look, there's mould on no, the outside of I it. That, that has been there all year, maybe for two, three years. Yesterday I put that up. Rubbish. And look, look what it's attracted already. Look, look. I've even, look, I've even had owls coming to have a look at it. Look at this here. Look. Oh, it was. Look at that. I've got owls. The owl is there to stop the eagles coming down. Yeah, no, I've got it's it's attracted them owls. Look, all the crab apples coming off the tree. Look at that. You're not impressed by that box. You are full of rubbish, Neil. Ah, Full just... of rubbish. That is not your nesting box. You're that's, not cheating. That's, that, no, no. Get your proper that's, new is, nesting that box is, that is and put it on course. your no, pitch. No, no, my tits are going to be back this year. And uh, Mazzy's just seen my gift. And she thought it was cute. Don't have a look at it, Dan. What gift? So you've, got, you've been given cake, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I Lots get a cake from, from a neighbour to welcome us to our seasonal pitch. <clears throat> i got nothing. I've not had a welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get given a present last last night. Is that Nigel's car going? It is. Oh dear. Well, uh, I might have to go and give him a shout, but yeah, wait, wait till you see my present. All right, so I, before I go in, I just want to give a massive big thank you to Sue. So Sue sent me a message um, last night. She's um, staying on here on seasonals. Uh, and last night when I got in, I put my feet up and I fell asleep. For an hour, and then uh, yeah, she said, "I've got something for you, Neil." And come and have a look, come and have a look what she gave me, Dan. See if you're impressed by this. Didn't give me anything. It's remarkable weather. Uh, it's taking me hoodie off, um, and I might even take my shirt off in a minute. Right, let's go and say hello to Russia, and think about getting some something to eat for my dinner. Go outside. Uh, where are you, Russia? What are you doing? Oh, hello, it's dinner time. Yay! Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. You're not sending PJs because they're in the washing machine. Yeah. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Do you want a treat? Scooby snack. Good girl. Nom, 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 nom. So as you put me uh, trail cam out last night uh, in an area where we've seen this, well, what we, we, we are pretty sure is a mink. Um, but we've actually got somebody on site who claims that they've seen an otter. I really can't see us having any otters here. We haven't got any rivers or streams. It's uh, we, we, we've only got dikes. Anyway, I have caught something. It's very, very difficult to see. Um, so I'll possibly try and edit a clip to try and zoom in. Um, so initially, it looks a little bit like a squirrel. So we have got grey squirrels here. We've got no red squirrels or no red squirrels that I'm aware of. But the um, but it's too dark to be a grey squirrel. It's too dark to be a squirrel. I'm sure it's too dark to be a squirrel and it's not in an area where we've, we've seen squirrels. What is it that I've captured? Just, I, I, it's really hard to see. If you've got any ideas, you know what to do. Comment down there below.
what you're doing there, Russia? Okay? What are you doing underneath the caravan? Is it a bit like summer again? Hey? Eh? Is it a bit like summer again? What are you doing under the caravan? You? Oh, the sun's bright and a big thank you to Frugal Stew. Stu, um, Frugal Stew, thank you ever so much for sending that coffee. Um, came over overnight, so uh, much appreciate that, my friend. Uh, fingers crossed. We'll see you before I go this year. If uh, if not, we'll catch you up next year. But uh, yeah, cheers for that, Stu. Much really, really appreciate that. <sighs> jacuzzis. Do you know anything about jacuzzis? I'm not sure whether they've got a problem with the jacuzzi or not. I've got a installation manual, but not a how to work as jacuzzi manual. Gonna have to do a bit of research. Right, I'm gonna wrap this video off here. It's, again, it's just been a yeah, it's just been a bit of a, a crazy old day. A uh, bit of fun as well as a as a as you'll have seen hope you've enjoyed that and if uh, if you're new here and you've just discovered my channel thanks for um thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up that'd be uh, that'd be wonderful help me grow the channel a little bit and uh if you're a subscriber there you go that's a thumbs up to you and um yeah lovely and if you're not already done so you know where that subscription button is down there below uh that's fantastic and um can i just say congratulations on the car purchase you're thinking of uh you, yeah you know about that new car? Well, not a new car, but new to you car. Um, I hope that goes through really, really well for you. And um, yeah, you get the deals, deals sorted soon and everything. So good luck on the, on the car. Right, I'm going to get going. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you guys, including you, on the next one.